drama, corporate, high stakes, corporate drama is a foot, Rob. <laughs> it is a foot. Here's what's going on. So basically, you guys know that ever since uh, Disney took over and bought Fox, they have become the majority owners of Hulu. There's a misconception out there that they are the straight out owners. They are actually not. They own 66% of Hulu. The other 33% and change is owned by Universal Comcast. But Disney is the controlling owner. They are the controlling interest, so they have all the save what happens in it. But Universal does own one third of it. So Bob Chapek has announced that they are, you guys have probably seen in the news that Bob Chapek has announced that they are looking to, the plan is and the roadmap is just to merge Hulu into Disney Plus, mm -hmm. which is no surprise. We've all seen it coming in a lot of other countries around the world where Hulu doesn't even exist. They just have Hulu's content on a version of Disney Plus, wherever, whichever territory you live in. So it's really not surprising that they were going to do it in the US. And quite frankly, while I personally do see the advantages of having Hulu separate from Disney Plus, I actually think it's probably a pretty good move. Uh, on their part to merge it in. So with him doing all that, Universal Comcast boss decided to throw a wrench into things and bring this up here, Jonathan. And he's basically said, well, you know what? Maybe we're interested in buying it. Maybe we're interested in buying it. Um, I'm, I'm just going to read a little bit here. And it says this, Disney currently, this is from Variety Rights, uh, Disney currently owns 66% of Hulu and Comcast holds the remaining 33% stake. As of July 2nd, 2022, Disney recorded Comcast's interest in Hulu as being worth $8.6 billion. So Disney is saying what th the overall value of Hulu, Comcast's share is worth about $8.6 billion, implying an overall evaluation of $25.8 billion. In an auction-style say suit, let me try it again. In an auction style sale of Hulu in its entirety, Roberts, that's the Comcast boss, suggests that Hulu may fetch much more than that and says straight out, hey, if Disney's willing to sell, we're, look, we're, a, we're a buyer. We'll buy out Hulu. We think Hulu is worth a lot more. Okay. There's a couple of very fascinating things here going on. Let me talk about the most sneaky. Here's potentially the most sneaky. Because I think I honestly think, even though I have no proof to back this up, this is honestly what I think here. If you guys look back to when Disney bought Fox, you remember what Disney bought Fox for? Mm -hmm. Seventy-two lot. billion dollars. No thanks to Comcast. Do you know what they originally announced they were buying Fox for? It was around forty. Mm -hmm. So if you guys remember years ago, Disney announced we have agreed to buy Fox for I think the number was around forty million bucks. Okay, we're going to buy Fox, yay, yeah, yay, yeah, yeah. And all of a sudden, Universal Comcast comes in and says, wait a minute, time out. We're interested. We, uh, we think we might like to own Fox. How about we throw out an offer? And according to the rules, we are allowed to submit an offer. And so they put in an offer for something in the neighborhood of high 50s billions of dollars, right? And ultimately what happened is Big Papa Iger, Bob Iger and the board of Disney had to ultimately buy Fox for about $30 billion more than they originally wanted to. And I said at the time, I don't think Universal Comcast ever intended on buying. <laughs> I don't think Universal Comcast ever intended on buying Fox. I, I said this way back then. I said, I think they just wanted to try to stick it to Disney and make <laughs> Disney pay a hell of a lot more money than mm -hmm. they need to. And I'll tell you what right now, I don't think... Universal Comcast has any interest in owning Hulu. They're looking at it and seeing, huh, they say our share of Hulu is worth $8.6 billion. Well, why don't we get out there and make people think it's worth a hell of a lot more? Ah, you know what? Maybe we're interested in buying, which in turn is going to force Fo or Disney to up their valuation of Hulu. Because Universal Comcast <laughs> can say to Disney, hey, you say it's only worth $24 billion. Okay, fine. we'll give you $24 billion. Which Disney's going to have to say, well, no, we don't want to accept $24 billion. Oh, so you're saying it's worth more. Well, maybe instead of giving us $8.6 billion, maybe you give us $20 billion. I, I mean, it's, and what's that, right? It's that one eBay bidder we yes! all hate. We all yes! hate. That's well, what you think you're getting is. this action figure that costs like 200 bucks, And for 50 bucks, it says 14 minutes left. And then all, 
All of a sudden, here oh, comes man, this guy. You know what? That might be me. <laughs> here I, comes I, this I, guy. In the last like 60 seconds. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> to the point where you actually think it's the person who put the item up for sale because they're bidding it and so hard. And artificially. And you never the got price. it. So th those dreams are shattered. You wait for the next auction and you never get it. That's no, what happened. I, I'm on that one too. I'm sorry. <laughs> Raise dreams on eBay right now. So. So here's the thing, too. This is the other interesting part about this. We are seeing a landscape now that is changing so quickly and shrinking because we are losing streaming services now. Showtime is getting swallowed up by Paramount. Mm -hmm. uh, what was the other one? We, I was just talking about another one. So an, another one just got swallowed up a little while ago. Now we're looking at Hulu is either going to get swallowed up by Peacock or by Disney. Um, it's happening more and more now. These smaller streaming services are now getting enveloped into the larger one and they're disappearing. We want to take a second to thank the sponsor of today's video, Manscaped. Now, guys, you know I love Manscaped. You've heard me go on and on about the Lawnmower 4.0 and mm, that body wash. I love it so much. And so we got to ask, guys, have you started your spring cleaning yet? The carpets need cleaning, the drapes need dusting, and your lawn needs mowing, gentlemen. And you guys know Manscaped is more than just one product. They have a whole lineup of products to help you guys feeling, smelling, and looking your best. And so Manscaped is proud to present to you the Performance Package 4.0, which is the only tool that you need to keep your boys looking, smelling, and feeling good this spring. Now, to start off with, you get the Lawnmower 4.0. Guys, we have talked about this. What is wrong with us? Why have we for so long been using these terrible tools that were never meant for cutting our hair down there? The razor clipper things on our electric razors. That's barbaric, guys. You need the Lawnmower 4.0. And then there's the Weed Whacker. You guys have heard our own Ray Aura talk about this, and he loves using it to get that hair in your nose and the ear hair and then they offer lots of other stuff like the crop preserver it's an anti-chafing ball deodorant and moisturizer the crop reviver it's a spray on toner for your balls and of course they've got the perfect grooming tool for your face with the plow 2.0 the perfect razor for the finest shave on that face so guys get 20 percent off plus free shipping with the code campia that's c-a-m-p-e-a -E at manscaped.com that's 20 percent off and free shipping with the promo code Campia at manscaped.com. It's time to throw out your old hygiene habits and upgrade your life. Anyway, Rob, I, 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 there's so many moving, interesting pieces here. Back boardroom shenanigans and, and like eBay dream breaking and all this kind of stuff. What stands out to you in this story? Well, I don't think you're wrong. I mean, in this case, by, by Universal making that offer, they're going to directly benefit because they're going to have to be bought out. Yeah. And they're going to make more money. You know, that to me is business 101. You know, say, we think it's worth more. I mean, a billion dollars, it could be worth, they might make, like you said, 10 billion more. Let me ask you this. That's uh, a lot of money. Which Ferengi rules of acquisition is it that says <laughs> sell as high as possible? Oh, it's got to be one I, of the rules I, of acquisition, I, I, I right? I could not quote. I mean, I, I, I'd i have to go a little deep, but I'd have to look. But I'd, I'd go back to Sun Tzu's Art of War on this one. You know, like, like a buddy boy. I keep thinking Gordon Gecko. Here, oh yeah, a little you know because but but by the way that's shrewd business, you know, and I think that that unfortunately that's that's the world we live in. If you do good business and this is doing good business, I love that he just all he had to do is go throw this out in the trades and say yeah no we might be interested in buying it. <laughs> I mean it's 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 good business. I mean like I joked to you maybe Disney can get the Hulk distribution rights back. But again I want I want by the way that could be an article in play here for Disney. But I just want to read this one part again, where the, the guy from Universal is saying, hey, we just think, this is right out of the Variety article, in an auction-style sale of Hulu, in its entirety, Hulu will fetch much more than the valuation of what Disney's saying. But don't laugh. I mean, you brought up off-camera that maybe one of the pieces in play here is those distribution rights to Hulk. I mean, there could anything could be on the table. You right. scared and, me and, when you said he brought something up off camera. I'm like, oh God, what? <laughs> well, also, I mean, here's another thing. There's a lot of NBC content that's on Hulu already. Mm -hmm. There could be licensing but, agreements. But they have started to pull that off and put it back right, onto sure. Peacock. But there could be licensing agreements that they yep. want immediately. I mean, who knows? There, there's so many different, like you said, moving parts to this. I mean, this is the world that we live in. This is, this is, this is, corporate brinksmanship and they're playing the game you know amy you hear about the story out of all these moving pieces what stands out to you in all this i mean i think just the idea that disney's gonna want to expand and take something and won't 
seems kind of ridiculous in this yep. day and age. So yep. to me, that that feels like the biggest sign that, yeah, this is probably playing a bit more of a long con than than really going we're going to buy this. Absolutely. We're very, very interested because, yeah, I think ultimately Disney's game right now is expanding. You know, they have seen success with Disney Plus. Why wouldn't they want to expand that yeah. out to Hulu? So, yeah, I, I, I think it would uh, be more likely to me that this is driving pricing up rather than really genuinely uh, thinking they could steal it. Out yeah. From Disney. What yeah. I love even just saying, like, you know, I think we'd be interested. I think a lot of people would be interested. It just yeah. feels very like creating that buzz around. Yeah. It. And by the way, I think this might represent one of those. Listen, my hero, Big Papa Iger, he was not flawless. This might be one of his calculated mistakes, because I personally think and I think we might have talked about this when it was all going on. When they were buying out Fox, they should have taken care of the Hulu thing altogether. They should, because and because I think if they had just straight up bought out Universal Comcast's portion of Hulu back when they bought Fox, I bet you they could have got it for a lot cheaper, mm. like a lot cheaper at that time. That might have been one of Iger's mistakes. Well, and also you said that you know there is no uh, Hulu internationally, so that there's could, a number of markets where it doesn't exist. Yeah, it yet. doesn't exist. So you've but you've got a lot of that Hulu content that's already on Disney. I mean, I'm sure there's all kinds of labyrinthian rights issues or international issues that we don't even know about. But it's, you know, didn't Disney just get the rights to cricket in India? You know, they were negotiating oh, for yeah, those rights. Right. On, they just made a huge deal for that. I mean, there's there's so much. This is now all of these streaming services are now global. And, you know, if you were a TV, if you made television shows, John, a lot of the way that these companies made a lot of money was they sold their TV rights into syndication around the world. You'd sell them to France, you'd sell them to Germany, you'd sell them to Australia. And these companies made huge amounts of money. That's why people, that's why Aaron Spelling was one of the richest men in entertainment because mm -hmm. of all the shows he made, selling them internationally. All that's gone away. So the television business and anybody who's worked in television is making a whole lot less money than they used to, including the studios. So some of that could be at play here. Everybody's want to, anyone wants to carve out as much money as they can mm -hmm. You get what what you can, while you can, when you can, as Jimmy Fallon said in Almost Famous. And I think it's coming down to this. I, I think pretty soon, and, and when I say pretty soon, I don't mean within the next few weeks, but like over the next couple of years, I think we are going to have HBO Max, we're going to have Disney+, Plus, Amazon, Netflix, and Apple TV. Yeah. And, and, and probably Peacock. And probably Peacock. Because they, Comcast has a ton of money. But this wild west of having like 20 different streaming services, I, th I think is probably just going to go even up. Anyway, we spent a lot of time on this. Guys, question is for you. What do you think about this? There's a lot of interesting angles to this whole story about is Comcast just artificially trying to drive up the price to get more money out of it? Do they legitimately want to make a play to try to get Hulu from Disney? Is Disney just going to move ahead with their plans? What do you think about the existing landscape of the streaming universe with the smaller ones now starting to disappear? Whatever you guys think, jump down to the comment section below and leave those thoughts there.